Hello everyone, this is Rashida. Welcome to my channel. My today's video is going to be on scatter plot, 3D scatter plot in Matplotlib. Well, let's start and work matplotlib.hyplot.splt and port pandas sp. Let's make the data frame uh, pd.read csv. I have this data set called auto queen dot csv. Okay, let's see how the data set looks like. This is the data set. Okay, it's about some uh, auto data. I have make aspiration number of doors is two door car or four door car convertible sedan. And then you have the price and so many other stuff. Some of the stuff that you cannot see. So let's see the columns. These are the columns. Okay, look, it, this is a big data set and I'm not going to use all of them. <clears throat> For one plot, I need only a few uh, of the stuff, a few of the variables. But I tried to find a data set that is close to the real world data set. So you feel like we are working on a real world project. Okay. So I'm going to use these three primarily length, width, and height as our x, y, and z direction uh, variable. Okay. Now figure. Okay, let's not do plt dot figure. Fix size 10 by 8. I always like to specify figure size because the default figure size is too small. I like it a little bigger. Ax plt dot axis. Okay. Projection. Projection 3D. Oh. I said a rejection. <laughs> Projection 3D. Now uh, let's do figure. Let's make the figure ax dot scatter three D. Okay, df dot length in x direction. In y direction, I'll put df dot width. And in z direction, it's going to be a df height. Let's see how it looks like. Okay, it looks like. It looks like this, so uh, let's just add matplotlib notebook. See the magic. You see, as you add matplotlib notebook, you can rotate it. It's interactive now. See that? You can see it, move, rotate it, move it. Okay. It looks nice, but I want to add a size, dot size. Okay. I will add df dot price. Okay. Let, uh, here is the price. So the dot dots will change with price. Oh my God. <laughs> Look how big the dots are because the price you can see how big the price is let's just divide it by 50 to control the size so the size looks pretty good now right oh ups and downs here okay so this is the size you can see, okay, enough of it. I like the dots colorful, okay? I want to see different uh, colors. So also, it adds one, uh, I will use this pick RPM. Well, here it is. Now, uh, it depends on how much you want to add. Some, some. Uh, I heard some people saying that uh, too many variables in one plot 
can be confusing. It's not understandable anymore. But some people like it. So if you like it, you add it. If you don't like it, you don't add it. But this size and color, it doesn't have to be a different variable. You can actually uh, put the length or width or height as well. I, I can do the uh, width too for the color. You see that? So you can, you can change it. So you can use the same same of them just to see the clearly see it clearly the difference or the how it changes. Okay. Uh, I let's um, x dot set x label. X label is length. X dot set y label is a width. X dot set z label is height. Okay, and I want to add a color bar. So plt dot color bar this figure I, we have to add th that name so this is the color bar so you can see how it changes now one more thing will be helpful that is alpha if you add an alpha parameter of 0.3 the dots will be oh my it's too transparent let's make it a little okay now it's probably you can see how oh uh, yeah yeah when you have an alpha parameter i think you can see how many data they're cluttering together or i mean you can keep adjusting and see what works for you so 0.4 yeah, 0.4 works. It's, it, it, it's nice. Yeah. Okay. So this was the plot I wanted to show you today. Uh, I have the link in the description box below for this uh, data set. Please feel free to download the data set and use it for your practice of this uh, plot and also other plots of your choices. Thank you so much. I will come back with some new topic soon. Thanks for watching. And if you like this video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.